Last week, I got 15 clips of Mr. Savage. This week, I have over 20 clips of a mixture between clicks and Booga's gameplay to show you some of the small tips and tricks that they always do and some things that they never do. We're going to hop right into that. But first, this video is sponsored by Esports Tower. They help serious players level up their game on a week by week basis with a unique style to training. They pair you up with teammates of similar skill. Then you get assigned a team coach to help you with practice and learn the mechanical skill sets that are required to compete at a professional level. Your coach will help you discover the mistakes that you make in VOD reviews and will teach you the foundations of communication, teamwork, and leadership. To top it all off, you have the opportunity to network with esports pros, general managers, college coaches, and college recruiters. The reason why I paired up with esports tower is because I believe that extraditing your path to pro is extremely valuable for people who are serious about gaming at a high level. When I saw their website for the first time, I thought it was super cool how they set up exclusive events and organized tournaments for scholarship opportunities. Go check out esportstower.com slash kenbeans for a free two-week trial below. One thing I'm starting to notice watching all these different pros is that whenever a third party comes up, as they're fighting them, they'll stop what they're doing to shoot the third party. They pretty much just ego or alpha the situation all together so that they can get the guy who's third partying to completely lay off them. Not only in this one example, I've seen clicks do this in almost every single fight he gets into that involves a third party. One thing that pros never do, especially clicks, is to make an edit on a player that doesn't open up the entire box for him to shoot. You see how once he grabs the wall, he's been in this situation a lot, he opens up the box for the entire player to get shot. It's really good practice to open up the whole thing and then use the wall that's already there as the right hand peak and not the wall that you're editing on as the right hand peak. Pros and especially clicks, we're on tip number three, are especially good at trying to predict people. Once he cones him once from the low ground, he instantly tries to do this move. And this is something that I do a lot. It's literally just setting it up. So you do cones first and then you just place the wall and you edit open and use the wall in front of you as the right hand peak. He managed to screw up the first time, but even on the second time, he saw the player running out. So he instantly creates the little house for him to live in. And then as he goes in, he scuffed the edit again, but notice the move here. Simple cone up and down, boom, wall edit, and you're good to go. Super popular move if you don't know already. Here's Booga playing normal arena, and this is a really good clip. One thing you might notice is that the Spider-Man inside the box is ready to shoot him. A very good play that lots of pros do, even against other pros. They open up an entire spot for them to get shot, and then they reset the wall right away. This is to bait the Spider-Man shot so that he could shoot first. One thing that you guys might not be doing that pros do literally all the time they try and get on someone's wall. In a spot like this, the fight is just starting out. What happens here is that Clicks tried to get the double edit, he failed. But he knows that the floor is semi-weak, so what he does is pretend like he's leaving and then lines himself up perfectly to come back at the right spot falling down he tries to grab it back. This is the best way to fake out really good players into thinking that you left taking a certain wall to actually come back and take it on the second time. One thing I've noticed pros will never ever do, especially in competitive modes, you'll never see them chase into a tarp that isn't theirs. If it does happen, it's most likely because they're shambles and they need to get a refresh so they're 50 50 but just like you see here notice how clicks was attacking this box was in the guy's tart he sprayed a little bit but didn't go too deep to the point of no return and then he went around outside that box to attack it from a different angle where there's only one wall in between him and the other guy even as he's rolling up on the side of this tart you can see how he doesn't go too deep and he takes one wall at a time before entering in completely you can apply this strat to every single time you get into a fight where someone's tarping away like crazy tip number seven might not be something that's so crazy to you when you see it happen. Even I don't do it, but I think other people on Fortnite never set up edits just like this. Clicks lined up a U-type edit right here so he can line up a right-hand peak when no matter what edit this guy makes. Especially in someone who's in a high elo lobby fighting against a player like this, this guy knows what he's doing. So setting up crazy edits to the point where it lines up a perfect right-hand peak, that's something that I can guarantee you that you might not be doing. Example number eight is the best way to push someone and keep constant pressure. This is what I want to mention in this tip. You see how he starts out by spraying his SMG? Whenever you spray an SMG, the person inside the box will never make an edit because the pressure is being applied against their wall. The strat here though is not on the first wall break. Once he doesn't get it, notice how he shoots the shotgun at the wall and then that makes it less than one pickaxe so he can swing again without even the guy having a chance to make an edit on it. You can either swing but Clicks chose to spray his SMG and he got some bullets to bleed through. Notice how as Clicks is advancing into the box, he's constantly using his shotgun to make the builds weak, keeping the pressure up, flipping the stair in a direction so that he has another right hand peek to take the next wall. Everything he does is lined up to always keep pressure on him without him getting shot back. The guy is frantically running away and he knows that he's nervous, but the best way to keep even more pressure up is to spray your SMG when there's only one wall between you and the other guy. This is the best textbook example I found of keeping pressure up. Here's one small thing that pros always do in box fights that you might not realize. It's literally just as simple as whenever there's a wall in front of your box, what pros like to do is give themselves room to breathe and run around in that box freely. I literally do this all the time in my 
own box fights and anytime there's a half edited wall i'll open up the whole thing just like clicks did right here it's a great way to create space in a two by one and here's yet again another example where he does the same thing in a cash cup next he knows that he wants to push into this box he's trying to force a fight but one of the best things he does for himself is line up a right hand peek before anything happens so that no matter what edit this guy makes on the stair he won't get shot just remember that he doesn't chase into other people's tarps unless he has a really massive health advantage even behind a great right hand peek he doesn't play into the guy's face in anything related to end game the second you see a guy charging at you this is a play that people will do all the time clicks reset a wall there's a guy close what he does is realize the second that that wall was reset he sees a guy in front of him pros are super super attentive to when smgers are gonna run right in their box that's why he made it so there's more than one build between him and the other guy so that even if the guy did come in the box he wouldn't be able to break through two builds i talked about this in my 100 tip video simple fact of any time you see someone for the first time you're lining up shots make sure you always aim for the head first this other tip that i think the best way to peace control people especially on kind of even ground you see how he's in an even ground right here every single time what happens is that pros will usually try and piece you from the top of the box not only did he do it once but he also did it twice and this is one of the best ways to try and get in someone's face really quick i mentioned this all the time but if you're on a cone always look to place cones above other walls and that way you can peace control people this is a way to have really good crosshair placement that average people probably don't realize booga knows that the guy is above his head so what he does is shoot the guy in the air but also knows that you can place a wall by looking really high up directly in front of you that's exactly how he was able to block the guy's shot i feel like average people would shoot people and then tend to look down right away to place a wall it goes either or and depending on because the guy was above his head that's why he placed the wall looking up clicks did something super smart and this is something that i've talked about in so many videos and it's the simple fact of after you got this guy cracked notice how when he's running away the last build that's always going to be placed is the wall that they came in from pros know this like the back of their head and anytime they have a little rat running from them what they'll do is spray through all the builds but not look to do anything until they claim the wall that's directly in front of them that they went in from if you're confused at all just look at this clip you can see how this guy was running away into a box the spot that he went into was the first wall that clicks claimed that's how clicks knew that he would be quick dead after he claimed it a really good strat that you might not be aware of if you're ever tarping near a player's box clicks noticed and realized that the player was going to make an edit so what he did was instead of trying to do anything he places the stair looking in the direction that he wants to leave from even though he got shredded i promise you that this is a strat that you need to start implementing into your game if you don't do this already what you don't do in this situation is look at the guy head on because if he gets you trapped in that box you're dead i'm gonna be honest with you and i don't think a lot of people on fortnite will get a player box but notice how after he reset the wall he doesn't do another right hand peek he lines it up so that he can run right into the box and keep full momentum the entire time two things he did right was shoot the guy he reset but he was holding his wall because he knew that that guy was going to try and replace it back and secondly he gave the guy no time to react by running right through if you don't notice by now pros are doing this all over creation but you reload as you slide and don't reload then slide because it will get canceled you can keep momentum and keep moving fast if you shoot the guy and then slide first and then hit the reload as you're sliding because you'll be able to actually reload the gun if you're ever in a sticky situation you're inside someone's box and they have a stair over you what clicks does is that he knows that he's dead if he doesn't leave that box right away he turns around and exploits through the wall that's in front of him using the guy's own stair in a sticky situation just like this i guarantee you it will happen to you eventually what you want to do is exploit out of that box using their own stair against them. i can't stress this enough i see pros do this all the time but i don't see my friends doing this too often when you side jump around and you're revolving a player's box you see how clicks is looking to place the wall that connects to his box first he tries to literally full jump onto the other side of that wall to place it before the guy even has a chance to build it that is the fastest way to kill someone in 2022 if you are not using your shotgun or your smg to literally run through walls if you get on a player's wall with a shotgun or an smg if you go full speed running you can use your shotgun like a straight battering ram and jump right through the wall even if they're turbo building it. pros do this all the time and i literally heard booga talking about this on a live stream where he says it's really kind of crazy nowadays because in fortnite you could just use your smg run right through their wall like it's nothing this is a tip i mentioned that clicks was doing earlier in the video but i need to preference it again because it's so so important that's probably the most important move out of the whole video lots of times as you're cranking up the players especially on low ground you'll literally see click side jump high wall to place the wall and then what he'll do is he'll jump into this flip the stair and then he'll catch the guy in this edit just high wall side jump but look to place the top wall first and then follow down with the bottom wall and then place the stair after that if you really do want to get flashy with it you can jump into this mongrel classic like this and usually you might catch the guy falling but it makes you harder to hit that's exactly why clicks does that so let's say we're naturally fighting each other and i see him 
him ramping towards me just like that. All I'm going to do is get close and then just look to place a cone above him and then side jump to claim the wall and then peace control him out the back. So if I'm ramping up just like this, I'm going to get coned. I'll look over here and then instantly just I'll naturally flow back this way and I'll get shot. Lots of people, whenever they get coned, usually they end up going backwards. In Fortnite Chapter 3, these are some of the best tips that pros are still using to this very day. I want to keep you guys up to date with this video. Drop a like. Don't forget to check out the link down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Peace.